Our glorious work. August 29th. In heavenly places. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. Psalm chapter 96 verses 2, 3. The great and glorious work committed to us in acting a part in the plan of salvation is wonderfully high and exalted. We cannot weigh its merits. We are to walk by faith, and as we strive to appreciate the possibilities, and realize the immensity of the plan of salvation, it is our privilege to pray with the Apostle Paul that we may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of christ which passeth knowledge ephesians chapter 3 verse 18 lift him up the man of calvary let the mind dwell upon the beauties of his character until by beholding you become changed into the same image a life of prayer and faith will lead us to speak of his praise and tell of his power Genuine conversion will unite our hearts in faith and love. It will teach us to hold fast our confidence in Him who is our only hope. By conversion we join our weakness to God's strength, our ignorance to His wisdom, our unworthiness to His merits, our poverty to His boundless riches, our helplessness to His enduring might. Letter 28, 1907 we must search the Word of God, making it a part of ourselves. A spirit of humility, the Spirit of Christ, will help us to know Him who has called us to glory and virtue. If we brought the truth into the daily life as we should we would advance higher and still higher, gaining a clearer and still clearer understanding of the revelation of God. We would lift Him up in songs of praise. Through the psalmist Christ declared, In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Psalm chapter 22 verse 22. His voice was the keynote of the universe. His unconfined power, his unsearchable understanding, his wonderful sacrifice for the human race, help us to comprehend the love of God. We need individually to have Christ abiding in the soul. We need to open our minds and hearts to the indwelling of the Spirit of Truth. We need to appreciate our privileges as the possessors of sacred, elevating truth. Think of what this means to us, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Letter 28, 1907. 